Well, hello, friends, and welcome back to our channel. I'm Renee, and Mr. Wayne is here. Hi, friend. We went shopping. We went to Traverse City to get a humidifier. And I thought, you know, while we're in Traverse, we're going to go to Sam's because our pantry is almost completely stocked for winter. So I had to pick up a few more things. And after this shopping haul, we'll be set for winter. So we're going to show you what all we got. Okay. Um, well, let's see. We got onions. I got, of course, a big old bag of red onions, and that's for all the pizzas, because I always put red onions on you the pizza. You want them on the table? Yeah. Right there's fine. And then we're going to make Mr. Wayne of some French onion soup. And I'm going to can it. So I got a great big bag of onions to can the French onion soup and also the red wine. Red wine is my secret. White wine, they, that's what they always use for French onion soup. I'm telling you, red wine is the way to go. I put red wine in my French onion soup. Okay. And oh my gosh, we got a deal. We got ribs. I should get my glasses because I'm going to drop everything. There, that's good. Let me get my glasses. Because that was a good deal. Plus, we got cookies in the oven baking. You'll get to see them. Some of the ones we put together the other day. Let's see. It's two pack. Two pack of ribs. Big old beautiful ribs. They're pork ribs. Looks as though. For, they were $23 and I got them for $17.90. So I got a good deal on them. Put them there. These are dripping a little bit, so hold on. These are a big pack of pork chops. These were $1.98 a pound, so this great big huge pack was $18, and I'm going to break that up. I'm going to leave that right in that box. It was leaking right there. Yeah. But I'm going to break those up into smaller packs for the two of us plus i gotta check the cookies oh they're right from frozen so you'll see how nice those turn out okay we set that up there then i got peanut butter ones to do so you'll see both of them we got some 12 grain bread yes i make my own bread but not, this is good stuff <laughs> the 12 grains and seeds and I don't have everything I need to make the 12 grains and seeds. So we bought that. That's good bread. Butter went up again. This is now, let's see, my little Amish lady had to raise her butter to four bucks a pound from 360 a pound. This is now, I forgot. I think it's three seventy-five a pound now. It's not, it's like fourteen dollars for one of these, and a four pack of butter in it. It's so it's like three fifty a pound through there. I'm not sure, but anyway, I got a bunch of butter. I always keep my butter in the freezer, and because we're going to be doing roasted veggies for the freezer, I thought you know what. I got two beautiful bags of Brussels sprouts, fresh Brussels sprouts. Those will be nice. And Mr. Wayne will like those too. We got another big old thing of, of beef patties to put in our freezer. The first one we got, this is sirloin. And the first one we got, we freeze dried it. And they turned out beautiful, didn't they? Yes, they so did. these ones aren't going to be freeze dried. These are just going to be wrapped separately and put in the freezer. I'll just wrap them individually and then I'll put them in a Ziploc bag. And Mr. Wayna tried shrimp. Well, he always said he didn't like shrimp. They can see your sweet face right in there. <laughs> Come on over here. He always said he didn't like shrimp. He didn't care for seafood. Well, when we had our one cookout, um, Nick, our Italian friend, did the shrimp. I deep fried it, but he seasoned it and everything, and John ate it like crazy. So, Mr. Wayne said, let's get some more of that shrimp. 
So we got two big bags, beautiful bags of shrimp. We got one medium size, and then we got one jumbo. And that'll be good to have a couple pieces of shrimp for a treat with steak, surf and turf. <laughs> so we got shrimp. And those are nice. And I got sliced cheese. I got baby Swiss. And I got Munster cheese. Those are good on sandwiches. And of course, we always get a big hazelnut. Is there room in the fridge for that? We always get a big thing of hazelnut, whether we go to Myers or Sam's or wherever we go. And I'm gonna use this as broccoli Normandy. Big bag of the broccoli Normandy. I'm gonna use this when we do some uh, um, roasted veggies. It'll be good with that. We got eggnog. This great big thing, half gallon of eggnog, was only four dollars, right? Four sixty-eight. It's like that much for a little pint-sized one in our local stores here. So we got a big thing of eggnog, and we got a gallon of milk. And the gallon of milk's got to go in the fridge, and the eggnog should go in there too. And if you got room, here you go. I got to check our cookies. Oh, those are doing good. And I'll tell you, I'm so excited to get all this done finally. And uh, the freezers and the pantry, everything will be stocked for winter and looking good. We got the smoked sausage. It was on sale at Sam's for six, six dollars, five ninety nine or six ninety nine. One of them, but we got three of them because we love those. So we got three of those to put in the freezer. Okay, those are nice. I'm gonna put them on top of the butter. Beautiful. And we don't drink pop, <laughs> but we got a 24 pack of Pepsi and a 24 pack of Mountain Dew and that's for our market stand. And we got it up there for like 50, 57 cents a piece. You can't beat that. So I got, we got, you know, two 24 packs. We got this from Mr. Wayne for the pantry. It's fruit and cream oatmeal, instant oatmeal, and he, he loves oatmeal. So we got that. And then I got the olive oil spray for my pans and my baking stuff. So I got those. And we got, we eat a lot of salad. So we got two big beautiful bags of salad because it, and it's got everything in it. It's the garden salad. It's got the carrots and the red and uh, red and green. It's got red cabbage in there, the green lettuce. Beautiful. And we got bananas. That helps with high blood pressure. We got one regular bananas that were just about ripe. And then these ones were nice and green. We want them to last. So these ones were organic. And they're only about 20 cents more than the regular, a pound. So we got both kinds, organic and regular. Oh, I got Alexa. Every time I say her name, she shuts my camera off. Those are doing pretty good. Let me turn them around. They're not quite done yet. They've only been in there for 12 minutes. It could take about 15 minutes because they're frozen or they were frozen. All right, so there we go with that. I got all kinds of nuts. I got walnuts, um, peanuts, I got almonds and pistachios, but I didn't have any pecans and I need those coming up for bacon for the holidays. And of course I got my great big bag of um, semi-sweet chocolate chips. That's for the holidays. And we got some Philadelphia cream cheese. Mr. Wayne and I are gonna make a cheesecake. <laughs> I say we because I'm gonna make it and he's gonna eat it. And he's got grapes. Got roots. Is that from that package of meat? Was that box on been, yeah. But box man, but well, we got grapes, they got a little blood. We gotta wash them. 
but they're gorgeous. Big old beautiful thing of grapes. I'm gonna set them in the sink. Give me that one, we'll set that in the sink. We oh. love grapes. Okay, and with that, of course, we have to fill, we're grandparents, we have to fill our candy dish. So we got some nice, like, little Hershey Nugget candies. And our grandkids love them. They never know what we're going to have in the candy dish. And yes, it's a, I, I seen it on Facebook. They talk about the candy dish that Grandma has that you could never sneak into. It's the old, the old-fashioned glass candy dish. I have the exact same thing, and I still use it for my candies. This is my candy dish, friends. And you'll see it on Facebook. The same thing. You can't sneak that from not without Grandma knowing. But that is my candy dish. And I love it. And we always fill it up and put goodies in it for the grandbabies. There we go. They're going to love that. All full of candies. <laughs> Spoil them. Okay, friends. So that's what all we got today, um, we had a ball up there, and we spent $347, but we're all done. After this gets all put away, and I get my pantry completely stocked, which it will be, um, it's almost done now. After this grocery haul, it will be done. And then I'm going to take you on a pantry tour, so you can see all the stuff that I put up for winter. So you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for hanging out with us and checking out our, you know, our little grocery haul. And we'll see you in the next video. And thanks for watching. And there's our chocolate chip cookies, friends. Look how nice they turn out. It's a good cookie, isn't it? It's a very good cookie, folks. These are the ones that have cream cheese on them. Mmm, soft and delicious, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Very good. I think I should make us some coffee. I got water. You got water? I'll make coffee to go with the cookie.